My name is Mark Hoy. I'm currently an assistant professor here in the Department of Otolaryngology, Head and Neck Surgery at the Medical University of South Carolina. Um, I am a general ENT physician, I'm one of the only ones in the department actually. Um, as a general ENT physician, I see a very wide range of, of patients, a wide range of ENT related disorders. I see patients ranging in age from um, newborns to uh, the elderly. Um, although I'm a general ENT doctor and see a number of different problem, uh, ENT related problems, I do have a couple areas of, of interest within the department. Um, one of those is the uh, diagnosis and management of sinus disease, um, both the medical and surgical approach to sinus disease. Uh, I also have some particular interest in training in ENT related allergy and serve as uh, head of our allergy division over at the East Cooper office. Um, I see patients with a wide range of uh, ENT related allergy disorders. Um, Recently, we've been offering our uh, allergy patients some uh, opportunities for drop treatment as opposed to the traditional shot treatment that most allergy patients receive. And lastly, I have uh, an interest in a fair amount of experience in general pediatric ENT disorders. Over the course of 20-some years, I've performed uh, hundreds and hundreds of uh, tonsillectomies, adenoidectomies, and tube procedures. As, uh, as one of the uh, only e general ENT physicians in the department, I, I, I serve a very important role in my mind as a liaison and point of entry for many of our patients. Um, even those patients that may have uh, complicated ENT disorders, quite often they're able to see me um, quite sooner than they might some of our other colleagues, and even those, of those patients that go on to require specialty care. By seeing me first, I'm often able to start this whole process of their evaluation and their management. I can arrange for outpatient testing, x-rays, labs, et cetera. Perhaps more, more importantly, um, determining exactly who would be the best person for them to see within our department. Um, both myself and my staff would be able to help them in expediting getting the appointments for the appropriate specialists that they may, may ultimately need. I would characterize my uh, approach to patient care as, um, as highly individualized. I really uh, appreciate the fact that everyone that comes in the door is not the same. Patients have uh, certain needs, uh, certain expectations, and I work very hard uh, in the early part of the patient-physician relationship to try and earn their trust and try and determine exactly what their particular needs and expectations are. Uh, I pride myself on taking the time to try and get to know the patient a little bit, giving them ample opportunity to um, offer their complaints, concerns, and symptoms. Uh, I do a very thorough evaluation of, of all of my patients, trying to come up with a, an appropriate treatment plan. I give the patient ample opportunity to ask questions. I think that's vitally important. Uh, the whole world of medicine and surgery in particular is a very daunting uh, experience for most individuals and, uh, and I understand that and I, I give the patients ample opportunity to ask questions and I try and answer those questions as honestly and faithfully as I can and again that's particularly true of patients that might require surgery. Um, I was born and uh, raised in Pennsylvania and uh, attended uh, Boston College, uh, where I graduated uh, with honors in 1983. Um, I returned home to Philadelphia and attended the Temple University School of Medicine, where I graduated with honors in 1987. Um, I completed my general surgery internship and ENT residency at the University of Louisville in Louisville, Kentucky, uh, serving as uh, chief resident in 1992. Um, I passed my boards on my first attempt in 1993 and uh, maintained my board certification. 